How are you? Today we are going to be building bridges out of popsicle sticks. We are going to design bridges that can support a lot of weight using a minimal amount of popsicle sticks. So you're going to use your engineering skills to find a way to equally distribute weight and be able to make a bridge that's light but really, really strong. So Let's take a look at the materials that we need and let's get to work. Okay, innovators, for this project, you're not going to need a whole lot of material. All you're going to need are some popsicle sticks. You'll need roughly about 40 to 50 of them, so just make sure you have a good handful of them. Um, you're going to need some glue. In my case, I'm going to be using a hot glue gun, but if you don't have access to a hot glue gun, you can just use some regular school glue, but you'll definitely need to uh, let it dry as you're constructing your bridge. Um, you're also going to need a ruler just to help you measure things out. And the last thing that I suggest you grab is a small box. Um, it doesn't have to be a box, but what you're going to want is something um, with a 90 degree angle, it's gonna help you support your bridge as you're building it. So I'm just gonna place this small box here. You can use a tissue box, a cereal box, um, or you can just use a stack of books if that's easier. But this is all we're gonna need to construct our bridge. Let's get to work. All right, innovators, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to build the, the side walls of our bridge. In order to build each side, you're going to need 11 popsicle sticks. And if you follow along with me, we're actually going to build uh, both of the walls if you follow my instructions. So the first thing I'll do is I'll start off with one popsicle stick and I'll place a little bit of glue on each end. And again, remember, if you're working with just some regular uh, white paper glue, that's fine. You're just going to need to let this dry. Okay, and I'm going to form this triangle shape. Now, I'll apply a little bit of glue at the top. The reason I'm working with hot glue is just because it'll dry quicker and it'll allow me to build this demo a little bit faster. So, we start off with our triangle shape. Once we've done that, we're going to take two more popsicle sticks and we're going to glue them on each side of that triangle. So I'll place them there. Now, if you are working with a hot glue gun, please be mindful of what you are doing and be very careful. And more importantly, please have the help or supervision of an adult. Okay, now your shape should look like this. Excellent. Now what I'm going to do is, I'll flip it over so you have a better view of it. Now I'm going to make two more triangle shapes on each side, like this. Excellent. Now we have these three triangular shapes. Now we're going to take our last two popsicle sticks and we're 
going to glue them across to complete one wall of our bridge. Now, we're using a very specific design for our bridge. And if you'll notice, there's a lot of triangles. And we'll talk a little bit about why we're using these triangular shapes in just a minute. And we'll talk about what the name of this type of bridge is. Okay, excellent. So, we've constructed one wall of our bridge. Now we're going to have to do this two times. So I'm going to do the same thing over again, but I'm just going to speed it up so that we have two of these walls. So. Now we have the two walls to our bridge complete. So we can move on to the next step. Innovators, for the next part of our building process, we're actually going to build the bottom of the bridge, um, the walkway, you could say, of our bridge. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out one of my side walls, and I'm going to take my ruler, and I just want to measure it. So using my ruler, Wow, it's about 12 inches, right? And if I take my other wall, yep, it's about 12 inches. That's perfect. So, knowing that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay out one side of, uh, of the bottom of the bridge, or the walkway, and if I'm doing it correctly, it should be about the length of three popsicle sticks. That's perfect because it gives us a little bit of space to glue the popsicle sticks together. So, that's the first thing that we'll do, is we'll glue these three popsicle sticks together. All right, and then I will measure, yep, about 12 inches, that's great. So, now that I've done that, we're going to take, uh, we're going to use a total of about 10 popsicle sticks for the bottom portion of the bridge. So I've used up three, now I'm going to take four of them. And I'm going to lay them out, one on each end, and two in the middle, right here where the popsicle sticks join. That looks good, and you want them to be um, as straight as possible, so using a ruler uh, is really helpful. Okay, now I'm just going to glue them um, on each end. Now, innovators, if you have access to more popsicle sticks, you could definitely use more. and You can also change the design of your bridge and be creative. For, the, for this design, we are being really simple and we're using uh, the least number of popsicle sticks necessary. But again, you can design your bridge to be a little more complex. So if you wanted to try things like uh, putting some more popsicle sticks across to give it uh, a little more strength, you can do that. But this is uh, just a basic design. So I'm going to take my remaining three popsicle sticks flip this over and I'm going to glue them on the opposite end. This looks great. Perfect. And if we measure it, it's about 12 inches. If we pull out one of our walls, yep, it lines up perfectly. Excellent. So now we can move on to the next phase of our uh, construction, which is going to be to start putting the bridge together. Now, innovators, we have the two walls to our bridge, 
and we also have the bottom walkway, right? So now we're, we're going to assemble the bridge. Now earlier I told you guys to get a, to bring out a box, a small box if you have it, um, or even just some books. And the reason we're gonna use this box, and I'm just gonna demonstrate is, we're actually gonna use it to help support one of the sidewalls as we glue it down. That's gonna make it a lot easier for you so that you can use two hands to glue all of those uh, corners. Or if you're using traditional glue, like a white glue that needs to dry, you can put your glue down um, and as your bridge, uh, use your box to hold up the wall while that glue dries. Again, in my case, I'm using a hot glue gun, so it's gonna dry a lot faster, but I'm still using the box because it's gonna help me keep it in place. So, I am, I'm going to glue at these four points because they actually line up really well with my bridge. So if you notice, the joints all meet the same place. So I'm gonna start off with a little glue here and then if I notice that my bridge is wobbly and needs a little more glue then I'll go ahead and add more. I'm going to line them up carefully. Excellent! And now my box is doing the rest of the work because this sidewall is actually leaning against it. So I can um, go ahead and use my glue gun to add a little more glue to stabilize the bridge. Okay, now I'm gonna give that a second to dry and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now, if you don't have a box, you can also just ask somebody to help you. So if you have a sibling or mom and dad around, they can also hold this up for you while you glue it down. Excellent, so now we are ready to connect the top of our bridge. Now innovators, for the final stage of the building construction, we're just gonna take three popsicle sticks and we are going to lay them across the top like this. Okay, now again, if you're designing a different type of bridge or if you're making it bigger, you'll need more popsicle sticks. But for this simple design, we've only used 35 popsicle sticks. Okay, we used 11 on each wall, so that's a total of 22. We used 10 for the bottom, so that's 32. Plus these three equals a total of 35 popsicle sticks. Again, now if you have access to more popsicle sticks, you can definitely uh, extend your bridge to make it longer. You can also try different designs, and we'll talk a little bit about the specific design that I use today. But let's go ahead and uh, complete our build. So I'm gonna take a little bit of hot glue and I'm just gonna place it right here at these junctions. And I'll place my popsicle sticks. Now this is going to give your bridge uh, a, a, a lot of needed support. So if it was feeling a little wobbly, once you place these um, beams across the top, the bridge is going to feel a lot more stable. Excellent, and I'll go ahead and remove any excess glue strands. Give that a second to dry, but our bridge is complete. As you notice, there's lots of triangular shapes on our bridge, and we'll talk about that specific design in just a minute. But right now, we're letting this dry. It's pretty stable, and we'll be testing it in just 
uh, a minute, but very cool, we're done. All right, let's talk about this bridge and let's test it out. Innovators, let's talk a little bit about the design that we're working with today. We designed a bridge using these triangles. Now, in architecture, our triangles are used very frequently because they are very stable and strong shapes. This is known as a trust element or a trust design. And what it is, it's a series of bolted or connected triangles. And the reason that the triangles are so strong is because they're able to equal, equally uh, distribute weight and pressure. So a bridge, right? There's, a bridge is designed to hold a lot of weight on top. These triangles are able to uh, evenly spread out that uh, and distribute that weight so that the weight is not um, isolated in one particular place, which could cause the bridge to collapse. Now, the designer, the architect that made this uh, bridge design very popular is a man by the name of Warren Truss. And this is actually the name of the, of the uh, bridge design that we're building today with our popsicle sticks. We're using these triangular shapes to construct our bridge. And we're gonna use this design to support a lot of weight. You'll be surprised how much weight we'll actually be able to put on top of this little bridge made simply out of popsicle sticks and glue. So, an engineering marvel. You can always do a little more research if this is something you're really interested in. Uh, but today, we used our engineering skills to design a Warren Truss bridge out of popsicle sticks. All right, innovators, we are ready to test our Warren Truss bridge made out of popsicles. So I've separated these two tables and I'm going to place my bridge right in the middle. Now there's two ways that you can test for weight. You can either place something on top or you can use some rope or string to hang things from the bottom. And that'll also test how much weight your bridge can support. Now, I'm going to place weight on top. I'm going to use this heavy uh, toolbox that I found and I'm going to place it right on top. Let's see how my bridge can handle that weight. All right, awesome. The bridge is doing really well. Let's take another look at it from a different angle. That looks great. Now innovators, be mindful when you're testing your project for weight. You want to make sure that you're doing it in a really safe way and that you are not uh, going to drop something on yourself. But our bridge survived the test. It's still pretty intact. I think maybe one of the popsicle sticks was a little loose, but as, besides that, it held its integrity. Awesome. Innovators, thanks for joining me today and building your very own truss bridge out of popsicle sticks. This was a really fun project that explored a lot of really important engineering and architectural concepts, um, and it was super fun to do. And as you saw from my test, this small bridge was able to hold a lot of weight. So have a lot of fun, be safe as you're testing it out. Um, and remember to always think creatively and to think critically. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.